Welcome into the studio. I think you'll find this one interesting. Today I was going in and out of the studio and I'm preparing to film for some other content. And I kept looking over at the P1S, the brand new P1S from Bamboo. And I know the print quality that comes off of it. We have it here and we print. And I know the comparison between that and the X1 Carbon. But I don't think we've adequately showed it to you. And also, I kind of did a little search for the P1S. It's new on YouTube. And I was trying to find someone who just highlighted the basic simplicity of the difference in prints between those two printers. I don't think it, it, it's helpful to highlight the difference in print quality between the P1S and the P1P. Because the P1S is basically the P1P with an enclosure and a couple other upgrades. So that doesn't make sense. Also, I don't have one. But I think it's really important to highlight the differences in print quality between the P1S and the X1 Carbon because that's what people are going to be buying it for. They're buying the P1S for the enclosure. I'm actually fidgeting with one of the uh, models right now, the one from the P1S in my hand. I went ahead and I decided, I thought, you know, it doesn't make sense to do the test print in PLA. Any printer can print PLA. And I think one of the primary reasons why someone would want the P1S or the X1 Carbon is to print in a little bit uh, more advanced materials or exotic materials. So I thought, you know what? Let's print with ABS. And uh, so we can take advantage of that enclosure. Although in order to film, I did have to have the doors open for some of the filming, but I just closed them again. It was no big deal. But I thought, you know, and of all the ABSs that are out there, Polymaker has a fantastic Galaxy Purple. So I loaded Galaxy Purple ABS into both machines. And uh, I grabbed a model. And the model's from Adam Cook. Is it Adam Cook? Yes. It is from Adam Cook, and it is a print-in-place vice grip. And the tolerances have to be pretty, pretty tight. It's going to show off exactly what the machine can do with default settings, and they both printed the exact same thing. Now, the X1 Carbon has LiDAR, so it's got the advantage of flow calibration, um, even assisting with bed leveling. And the P1S doesn't have that. So the P1S is just going to do straight bed leveling. And then no flow, no flow calibration. That's up to you and the slicer. And then you got to print. Now with this ABS from Polymaker, I just went ahead and selected the generic ABS profile on both printers. And I sliced them up. Uh, three, three top, three bottom, two walls. I don't even remember how much infill. But that's kind of beside the point. And I went ahead and I hit print. The results are shocking. I'm holding the print from the P1S in my hand right now. And I haven't done anything to it. Didn't hit it with a torch. Didn't change it. And it looks absolutely incredible. I mean, like you'd expect, right? Coming off of a bamboo machine. And I thought, you know, with flow calibration, am I going to see a big difference? Am I going to see a problem? Am I? And the answer, no. I think if I handed you these... I don't think that you could tell me which printer they were from. I don't, I don't think that you would, I don't think it's possible for you to know. Um, I can. Um, I did detect one small, slight little difference, and that was, which would be flow calibration. On the P1S, I did notice there was these tiny, tiny little imperfections on the first layer that uh, would be flow related, but not noticeable really, unless you were really being picky and you were really searching for the difference. I don't. I, I mean, I just don't think that you would notice. They're absolutely perfect. The vice grips work. Both of them turn. They they work. They're fantastic. This one is the X1 Carbon. I can, I don't know. I can kind of hold that up in front of the camera. I don't think lighting here is going to do that justice here. So I'll have B-roll footage that's going to really show you the difference. This is the one from the P1S, and uh, like I said. They worked flawlessly, came right off the build plate and just functioned perfectly. And here they are. I don't think that you can tell the difference. And I'm going to have some zoomed in B-roll footage showing you exactly what the final result looked like. Top, bottom layer, and uh, in that imperfection that I kind of saw. It's not really an imperfection, though. You would never notice it. But in the end, I think here, here's kind of like, here's my thought. If you're looking above the P1P and you're not considering having the top tier Bamboo Lab 3D printer just because it's the top tier machine, if you're looking for absolute perfection, 
and you have the money to spend, then I think go with the X1 Carbon. I think if you're considering and comparing the two, and budget is one of the major contributing factors to you sitting down and, and choosing between the two, I would likely go with the P1S. That machine is so inexpensive for what you get in an enclosed Core XY machine and access to the bamboo slicer and the ability to throw multicolor system on it like the AMS for six ninety nine, I'm telling you, it it can't be beat. Not not in three D printing right now. That is the that is a fantastic machine. That I can't say it's the ultimate machine. I think the X one Carbon with uh, with the lidar matters and i think that the ai that's in the x1 carbon is is significant will significantly make a difference if you're into engineering parts and you want that absolute perfection but for the normal everyday user of 3d printers you cannot tell the difference between the prints that come off of the p1s the p1p or the x1 carbon and the fact is is that you can have that p1s with the enclosure for printing abs and asa and polycarbonates and nylon and you can upgrade it with stainless steel extruder gears and a hot end to print those more abrasive filaments i'd say do it i'd say do it and uh i you guys know that i don't really like to give recommendations when it comes to 3d printers but i really think that the printing with the X1 Carbon, printing with the P1S now, I'm telling you that that is one incredible machine for $699. And I know that there's new machines showing up here. Uh, King Rune is supposed to be sending us their machine, the KLP1. And I do know that the Creality K1 is already on the way. Matter of fact, it might be here already. And we're going to be comparing those, and we'll be doing a face-off, just like this face-off today, between these two printers. We'll be doing that same face-off with those printers. And I think, uh, I, and those results will be interesting. But I'm telling you that unless Creality really pushes hard and comes out with some sort of multi-material system, I don't know. I just don't know how they can compete. Although I've seen fantastic results off those K1s, and people people love the brand and they they love those machines. So I'm excited to find out and see exactly how that machine prints. I hope you found today's content entertaining and educational. If you liked it, definitely give us a like. We'd love to have your subscription as well, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Hey, let me give a special thank you to our YouTube members. You make this entirely possible, and I'm so thankful for your support. If you'd like to support our content here on YouTube and you'd like to be included in the videos, there's a little join button down below. Click that. Thank you, Jedi Spidey, Buddha 3D, your buddy Denek, Cetral, Vredog Knight, Rip Artist, Patrick W3D, The Cinzia, Luppy Luptonium, Cam Nicholas, Waste in Time, Brandon0109, and Joel Finn. Thank you so much for your support.